Hello and welcome to Purple Pie Studios. So recently I was doing some experiment with animal rigging and animation. So I challenged myself to animate an ant walk cycle without using any plugin. And in this video I'm going to share the technique I used here in this animation and I am also providing an ant illustration you can download it from the description. So go download it and follow along with this lesson. So we are going to start with the legs animation which is the most critical part of this walk cycle. And for that we are not going to use any rigging plugins. We are simply going to use an inbuilt script called the create nulls from path. You can find it uh, over here in under windows. Now the way to use it you have to select the path property of a shape. After you have selected all the path properties you can click on points follow null. And here you can see that some null objects have been created and if you try to move the null you can see that the path is the path of the shape is modified according to the position of the null. And right now we are going to scale down the null objects a bit. Let's scale it down to around 14%. Now we are going to parent the nulls in a chain right now. So we have to find out what which null is attached with the body. So this this is the null that is being attached with the body and this is what is directly attached with the body. So what we can do is we can parent this one with this one. So we have to parent it like each of the joints have one null and the nulls that are joined together should be parented together. For example, this null and this null has the same joint. So we can parent this one with this one. So you can mark the number as well. The zero is parented with the one. And the same goes for this one. One is going to be parented with the zero. And then again, the zero is going to be parented with the next one. And this one is going to be parented with zero. Okay, so once this parenting thing is done, we can solo the layers so that we can properly focus on the legs. Now we are going to start with the animation. So first we need to select the nulls that we have to animate. So we need to animate this one and after that we need to animate this one and after that we need to animate this one as well and then we also need to animate this one. So we can put position keyframe over here and let's press u to open only the position property and we're going to jump on to next 12 frame so a typical walk cycle takes around one second and this is an ant walk cycle so i have made a little bit faster so one cycle is going to have 24 frames and currently we are in 30 fps okay so let's put keyframes over here and let's put keyframes over here as well now here we are going to move it on the other side just like this and you can see how the path is being modified just by using a null object even we can change the direction of this foot and we have to move this one slightly all right so we can select these keyframes and easy is it and let's jump on to somewhere in between in the sixth frame and we're going to add a passing pose over here so let's select this one or this one and we are going to move it up and we are going to make a curvature in the motion path like this now then we can move this one down a bit and when it is stepping on the ground we can slightly move it up just like how we do how we animate a walk cycle now let's check it all right so here it is okay so now we can add the loop expression so right now let's hide all the other legs because the technique for animating the other legs are exactly same as this one so we're going to hide it right now and now let's see how we can get the other side of the leg 
that is behind the body using the same layers so for that we have to select this shape layers of the leg and duplicate it let's put it below the body layer and we have to open the shape path property and here you can notice that it already has some script you simply delete the script press and hold the alt key and click on it now we are going to recreate the nulls from this path so select the paths and we are going to create the null property the null objects click on points follow null let's scale it down to 14 percent and right now we are going to copy and paste this keyframe but before that we have to parent this nulls in a chain okay so now we are going to copy this position and paste it over here then we are going to select this and paste it over here and then this one and then this one so let's select this keyframes and we are going to offset it by 12 frames and then we can select these legs and slightly change the color and make it darken up a bit all right now here you have the walk cycle and of course you can use the exact same technique to animate the other legs let's proceed with the body animation but before animating the body we are going to select this one and this one and parent it with the B2 on which this particular legs are attached to all right now we can shy out this other legs layer and so that we can get some room over here in the timeline to animate the body so we're going to parent this one with this one and the head with the B2 now after that for this one i would like to add some pins so that we can add some follow through over here i converted the pins into the bone layer using the twig bezier plugin so let's parent the bone layers in a chain so now we are going to add the position keyframes so we are only going to put position keyframe on the y-axis and also add some rotation so let's jump on to next six frame and we are going to move it up a bit because it's the passing pose and here we can even add a little bit of rotation around two degree or let's keep it one degree and here we can give it minus 0.5 and again at the 12th frame we can copy and paste the initial keyframe and easy is the keyframes and let's add the loop expression and let's offset the keyframes to add some follow through all right now we can copy this rotation keyframes and we can paste it over here in the head and also in this body layer and over here as well so let's check it okay so after this for the antennas over the head i have used the same technique as the body i have added some pins and then converted the pins into the bone layer and added some rotation keyframe and offset the keyframes to add some follow through now after that for the eye blink for the eyelids i have simply added some shapes and animated the shape path property and currently i am using the after effects 2023 which has a major update for track mats so it is a very useful upgrade to have 
because it is going to save a lot of time especially for motion design projects so i'm also using this feature over here for the eye blink because for the eye blink for eyelids you need to use the track mats okay so these are the techniques i used to animate this and walk cycle i hope you liked it if you like the video make sure to hit the like button if you have any doubts regarding the techniques then make sure to comment down below i would be happy to help you out and if you're here for the first time make sure to subscribe the channel and hit the bell notification button to stay notified for all future updates until then goodbye